Hi everybody, Father Greg, Mother Jenna here, breaking into your day when the church calendar breaks into the regular calendar. And today is the eve of the principal feast of the Ascension of our Lord. So we're going to hear some scripture, talk about it for a minute, have a prayer, and, uh, and then send you on your way. You want to start with our scripture? Yeah, this is from the Acts of the Apostles. Jesus said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. All right. Jenna, what's interesting about the ascension for you today? Uh, first, for me, the most interesting thing about the ascension is that it is a principal feast. Um, that according to our prayer book, ascension is as important as Easter or Christmas or All Saints. Um, and, uh, to me, I think about Ascension, um, as, as like the second half of Christmas. Mm -hmm. And that if at Christmas we think about what it meant that Christ came down to earth, put on flesh, brought heaven with him down to earth and bless all the stuff here. Um, Ascension is when we recognize that when Jesus ascended up to heaven, he took all of that stuff, all of that creation, he took us, our matter with him. Um, and it's really the first time in the whole story of salvation that, um, flesh goes to be in heaven um and that that makes um that makes the rest of salvation possible yeah so nice all right well for me um what's always interesting about ascension for me is that it is among the principal feasts it's it's kind of the one that maybe gets forgotten sometimes it's a little like rhode island or delaware you know you don't always come straight to it but uh the, what's why i find it so fascinating is that if you Think about this narrative of Jesus physically ascending up into the heavens. There's a piece of that that feels a little too out there to be taken as truth. Like maybe it's representative or it's, um, you know, it's a metaphor or it's, it's mythology. And, uh, and it's just kind of weird because we don't think of heaven as being just on the other side of the moon. So when he goes up into the sky, where does he go? On the other hand... When you think about ascension as being, as Jenna said, this sort of ultimate act of this salvation that Christ is involved in, sort of has taken on human flesh and now carries all that we are with him up to God, then it becomes incredibly profound. So there's this piece that feels a little too strange to be true and a little, and then the other side that feels incredibly beautiful and profound. And Ascension gets to kind of hang out with both of those truths. So uh, that's what I think about with Ascension. Awesome. You want to pray for us? Yeah, why don't we pray? This is from the Benedictine Daily Prayer book of Breviary. Let us pray. Blessed be you, Lord our God, by Jesus your beloved Son. Ascending to your right hand, he draws all people to himself. May our vigil now already share his joy, and may your church grow in all ways into him who is the head and makes the body one forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And I want to invite y'all to celebrate the Feast of the Ascension, this principal feast, with us tomorrow at 6.30. We'll do the Stations of the Resurrection, um, which will be... I think really interesting and fun. Um, we'll celebrate Holy Communion together and we'll have some cotton candy. So hopefully see you then tomorrow at 630. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye now.